I hope your Tyson good, bro. Wake me up a little bit. I'm a little sleepy, bro. Wake me up, cuz. Hope your Tyson wake me up, cuz. Good evening, Phone I'm him. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome right, you to Chicago and the famed oh, Aragon Ball. about Ballroom. to be a good one right here. Feel it. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. <laughs> good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Bruh. He gives as well as he takes. Oh, he's throwing them hard ass punches. Come on. <laughs> That's a well scored left hand by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Nichols is feeling the impact of that hook to the body. <laughs> he throw all power, y'all. <laughs> Movement to get away from those punches. <laughs> Nichols is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Get in there! Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Pick your damn head up, boy. Nichols is left, working well that time. Blocks that belt line well. Scored well with that right hand to the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Nichols' effort in that last round really didn't do much for him. I just don't think he was busy enough. No, he wasn't busy enough, and you start to wonder whether or not he wants to be here. It has to change quickly now, because if it doesn't, his opponent is going to kind of smell it a little bit, and he's going to start pushing a little bit more and put him in bad problems. game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Kobe Nichols. Nichols' combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Good exchange. He fires back. that counter shot to the head not an accurate look at all what an excellent two punch combo by mike tyson parries that punch intended for the head tyson's able to land a good solid left hand bro what the fuck? able to defend and then go on the offensive tyson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination what a mess this is right now. There's blood absolutely everywhere. He's got to worry about so many fronts, including the ref or Doc stopping the fight. Yeah, but you know, that's the funny thing for a fighter, for a professional, Joe. I would argue with you. He's not supposed to worry about all those things. No. Now's really the time that he must not worry about any of those things. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. And that's the end of round two. <sighs> Tyson's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Super two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Wow, what an uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. 
Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kobe Nichols. Mike Tyson's combination punching is working well here. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. What an impact that left hand just made by Kobe Nichols. Nichols' combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Nichols. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Left of the body. Oh, things opened up, and he was the able to play a big shot. He goes down for the first time. Man, I was fucking my ass up. I don't know why I ain't fall. One, the counter though. Two, three, four, I done hit Mike with some five, shit, bro. Six, seven, eight, nine. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Punch by Nichols. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And we come to the end of the round. Mike Tyson's enjoying a big lead here, up three to zip on Teddy's scorecard, but even more important than that, he's already gotten to his man. Yeah, he's hurt him in the body, and once you hurt him in the body, he flows up there. That's a big right hand. Nichols is a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into... Did you see that? Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second Two, time? Three, four, four five. five. Seven, eight, stand, nine, stand, stand. I give him a lot crazy. of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in one, good shape. Two. That's one of the reasons one, he got up. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Nichols is not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's leading right into good. his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. Two punch combo by Mike Tyson. What? The body. That is a sharp uppercut by Kobe Nichols. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Countdown the final moments of this round. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. No. Okay. Nichols' start to this round brings about some new hope. But for most of the night, it's been a hopeless cause. Down on the canvas time and time again. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Well done, three-punch series of punches there by Nichols. Keep your oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. 
And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Nichols is over. He is. Oh, that's got to hurt. Throw the scorecards out. Nichols is down and looks to be out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hurry, get up. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Nice wrist one two combination by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's left. Wing. Oh! Bro. Nichols has got to beat the count. But they don't, I don't let think you move when Mike has get close. Ah, oh, damn. One, two, I three, need to stuck to you. four, five, six, seven. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. God, he damn. needs them right now. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Nichols is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. And round six comes to an end. Mike Tyson's well-conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. Move, move. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. And now he scores well with a straight right. Nichols is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Some offense of his own. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Nichols' night could be over here. This could be the end. One, yeah, it's over. Two, three, oh. four, yeah, it's over. I can't five, get up. GG. Another opponent, a knockout victory. I like the way.